Hey guys, before we get to the show, I just wanted to tell you real quick that uh, we have a new website and it's got a new shop feature uh, with all of our products in there, workbooks, DVDs, Blu-rays, you name it. Uh, and we've got a promo code for you and it's gonna give you 20% off of your entire cart. We'll have that a little bit later in the show. We're continuing our series of behind the scenes podcasts where we show you what it's like inside Appian Media during the creation of our brand new series, Out of Egypt and Lessons from the Land, The Exodus. Today on the show, we're talking with Nolan Hoovner. He serves within our organization in a variety of roles and is currently editing our next children's series, Lessons from the Land, The Exodus. We're gonna talk with him about how that project's coming along and hear some more stories from production in Egypt and Jordan. That's next on Inroads. Welcome to Inroads, where we share real world examples of digital evangelism and provide tips on how you can use today's technology to spread the gospel. Learn more about us and watch our free video series at appianmedia.org. Mr. Nolan. Hello. It's really great to sit here and talk with you. And yeah. I'm sure it's great for you because I'm not bossing you around or giving you an, any instruction or oh, you will. grading any of your projects. I, but what or? I didn't realize is that uh, we, we, Nolan's around so much, but we've never talked to him on the podcast, right. minus that that conversation up on Mount Sinai. Which, which was uh, one of our most epic that podcast was, episodes. Epic. Actually, I think Best probably, setting, for sure. It, and that's one of our highest viewed podcasts, I believe. Highest viewed? I see what you did there. Oh, was, I didn't even think that. It was really high. In but the, I just was going to say it's because yeah. Nolan was on there. It was probably you know, because of Nolan. But you're right. Hair. You're kind of this very mysterious character in the organization. <laughs> I lurk in the shadows. Yeah. And yet you've been, <laughs> you've been assisting us in a variety of ways for... I don't know, a couple of years. Several years. Yeah, how far back yeah. does it go? So yeah. maybe just share with our listeners, give them the Nolan's life in 60 seconds and your experience and how you got involved with with all of this craziness. All right. Well, uh, life in 60 seconds. Uh, my life was really boring and uneventful until I met Craig, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, changed my life completely. He wow. put a camera in my hand, so... Uh, yeah. I'm a freelance videographer uh, and work behind the scenes with Appian as a production assistant and a editor as well. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, man, how how many years ago was it? Four it's... years ago, right? So I occasionally teach video production classes, media classes, podcasting, and all of that. And uh, you know, Nolan was one of those poor, unfortunate souls that had to sit in <laughs> one of those classes and <laughs> suffer through it. And uh, man, somewhere along the line, he he like actually, I guess, believed some of the things that I was saying. Wait, yeah, you were saying that there was this really good up and coming student, and you were yeah. like, "Hey, we want to get him on as an intern." Yes, or an well, apprentice. an apprentice. That's what right? it was called. Yeah, because I was I was a little apprehensive. I was like, "I don't know, it's gonna be some kid, and he's gonna think like <laughs> I need to be running the show and I need to be directing stuff, and we need somebody to like log footage." Right. And but it was Nolan, and he like he rolled his sleeves up, That's and right. he got in, and we, he's a machine. <laughs> right. What were some of the first projects we gave to you? Um, I think you gave me a hard drive with about three thousand photos on it. That's right. You had me. You had me color all of them. Yes. Which I had never done. Uh, and then schedule them all out on social media and. Yeah, give yeah, your social that's, media that's a boost true. for about a year. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> right. that's right. You did the editing on uh, Bible Study Without Borders. It the did. Ephesians, the yeah, Ephesians, the Ephesians one. Um, and it was it was a kind of this regular mantra of me where I would put together stuff like, "Hey, this would be helpful for Nolan to do. Surely this will take him a couple of weeks." Yeah. And like three or four days <laughs> three later, days, he'd three come days back. Later. Anything else? What else yeah. you got for me? Yeah. It you was know? a constant <sighs> thing with Craig. He would tell me he'd be like. I just can't find enough work to give this guy. <laughs> too and Craig was spending time trying to find work for you to do because you were coming back so quickly. <laughs> right. Right. So you were like annoyingly quick. And annoyingly, efficient. annoyingly good um, at your job. But look, that's a great attribution to have. Um, and so you've, you've helped uh, shoot some things for us and edit for us. And you came with us 
on our most recent production trip. I did. Yep. How are you feeling about that? All I, these months later. You know, I can't believe it was almost a year ago now. Right? Honestly. Yeah, that is uh, crazy. So it was a whirlwind of a trip and then it doesn't feel like it was that long ago and now it's almost been a year. It's, it's crazy. True. But, it's true. So so um give us a little bit about your role. When we brought you on and said, Hey, you want to come to Egypt and in Jordan with us, like what were you doing in the field? So my main job while in Egypt was uh, behind the, to record behind the scenes and just serve as a general uh, production assistant. Um, I was there for when all the stressed out planning people like you guys <laughs> or, or Ryan, our director, needed something. I was ready to jump in and I had my behind the scenes camera as well to capture all the yeah. fun moments. And then I would, throughout the trip, we try to make it a habit of putting out what we call now production journals, mm -hmm. right? These, uh, they used to be called daily recaps, right? Uh, we stopped committing to daily and just yeah. called them production yeah, journals right. instead. <laughs> um, but just trying to let people know, give them a glimpse, 60 seconds, 90 seconds of, of what we did that day. And uh, I passed the vast majority of them off to Nolan yep. while we were in the field. And uh, man, you, I'm, like I said, churned through those. Mm -hmm. Shot all the footage that day. And then that night at the hotel, backed that all up and then threw together a video real quick. On, That's right. was up on YouTube that night yeah. or the we, next morning. Yeah. You, you were pretty much the mastermind of those because you, like you said, you shot it and then edited the whole thing. So this was, this was the, the, the production journal as seen through the eyes of Nolan. Yep. So. <laughs> and boy, was there a lot to see. So there was if lot. there was ever a trip to have behind the scenes, this would have been one of those trips. Yeah. So. so if you haven't already, you can actually jump on our YouTube channel and we have them in a playlist um, organized by trip year. So if you go to the, the 2022, um, you know, our trip to Egypt right. and Jordan, yep, most of those year, videos yeah. were, were shot and edited by Nolan. So Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so kind of, but in addition to that, you know, we, we used you in just a various, various capacities in the field and like, how did, how did you feel about the being in the field with Appian Media? Because you'd been work, you've worked with us before in, in other, you know, more controlled environments. Like how did that feel? Um, you know, just give us a little bit of background. Egypt there. wasn't a controlled environment. It, I know. Is yeah. that right? <laughs> <laughs> it was really exciting. Uh, all of my work with Appian had mostly taken place at the Brownsburg Public Library, uh, which is where we are right now, actually. That's I don't right. know if I'm right. giving away a secret. It's, it's a very calm place. Yeah, it's, it is. It's the, but... the opposite of <laughs> the city streets of Cairo. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. calm, quiet environment to, to that was really fun honestly i i was very excited when i got the email from you uh like hey we want to invite you onto the trip i'm like absolutely i want to go and then my passport was expired so i had to <laughs> good I, for step uh, that that morning went and got it put in all the paperwork to get it renewed and yeah all that i was very excited and it was awesome do, so um did, did you this is was this your first time traveling internationally and filming internationally filming internationally yes but not my first time traveling okay i've been to china greece uh africa a few times okay yeah. so how did the how, what did it feel like for you stepping on the ground with a with a production team in this new country um did you feel the culture shock that so many of us felt a little bit yeah uh Middle Eastern country is very different than America. Very yes, different yes, in, it in it's the a lot the world. of ways. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Not bad, just, just very, different. very different. Right. right. So a lot of things were a surprise. Some of them weren't. Like I, I, traveling internationally kind of gets you prepared to be like, oh, that just happened. I'm not going to be phased by that, you know? Like, yeah. Um, there's a cow in the middle of the road. Yep. That, like, <laughs> and everyone seems totally fine mm -hmm. with that. Okay. okay. The traffic is the that's traffic. a whole different oh, podcast thing. What were your thoughts about <laughs> traffic there, Nolan? Traffic was uh, high blood pressure. Twenty four seven. Uh there's a whole language uh with beeping the car horns. People right. they're communicating back and forth and like two quick beeps means this and that means something else. And there's thousands of cars and all want to be exactly where you are That's and right. weaving <laughs> a good way to put all it. around. <laughs> There's a occasional cart pulled by goats 
mixed in on the highway you know we we reversed on the highway because we missed our exit one time and <laughs> i do i yeah. mean you don't do that here it was a little scary <laughs> u-turns u-turns <laughs> happening yeah, on yeah. the highway yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah 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 so so i would say and uh we we've done a podcast with ryan and we you and ryan were kind of the two outsiders coming into this and um you and Ryan are about the exact opposites. <laughs> I think I would say this in front of his face, but Ryan is very commanding and loud, and you are quite the opposite. So, like, I think you even held your cool in some of the some of the hottest moments. Uh, I mean, talk about what were you feeling in some of those instances where you know we were being denied access to Mount Sinai, or the equipment wasn't uh, coming through like we had thought, or the boat is four hours late to get across the red sea mm-hmm. yeah so it was all very frustrating you know <laughs> all the things going on the different hurdles that seemed to come every day once we the the trip went very smoothly up to a point and then everything went wrong for the rest of it <laughs> uh and, and you say <laughs> it really was point, it was like yeah. five minutes after we landed i mean it was awesome when we flew over there but but then we arrived we're, when we were of, waiting to deboard the plane. It yeah, was amazing. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was different for me than than Ryan's situation. Ryan's the director, so he's he's in charge of everything. If things don't happen, it it falls kind of on him. Sure, it's on his shoulders. I'm the production assistant, BTS guy. You know, nobody's going to blame you for anything. Yeah, not on me at all. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, if things are going wrong, things don't go as planned. It's frustrating, but the same time it's my job allowed me to just go with the flow and wow. I want whatever's gonna happen I, I, think, I think i want his job okay, too. we will both Maybe take your job that's next right time, we'll flip so. for bts yeah, you yeah. Can be the director. <laughs> um, sounds amazing no and yet, like i i really did appreciate your attitude throughout because when the temptation for me arose at least i think i could probably speak for Stuart, right the temptation is to match the stress of the most stressful person on the team um, sometimes that was me. Sometimes it was Ryan. Um, and yet to see you just like, man, this is awesome. Yeah. Like, you, you know, the attitude was, you know, it, that it, it is kind of awesome that we're in the middle of this Cairo marketplace and we can't, we can't manage anything here with the amount of people that are here, but look around us, look up, yeah. you know, you, you were seeing things with, I, I think a perspective that that maybe we have we yeah. forgot at times. It, it was good to have oh. that. Yeah, that, I agree completely. And there were several times I can remember because I roomed with you for, I don't know, maybe half of the trip. It's like mm-hmm. where I would ask you, how are you feeling? How are you? Oh, this is great. I, this is awesome. I love I love being here. And it's like, yeah, I think maybe I need to have oh, that yeah. attitude a bit more. So <laughs> We yeah. did just climb up Mount Sinai. I mean, that was pretty cool. Right? That's right. That's um, right. Yeah. So yeah, I appreciated your attitude and and the work that you did, and and obviously your work has not stopped uh, since we've been back. But you've you've got another job, though. Do you want to share maybe a little bit about some of the other things that you do, even besides uh, video production? Sure. So I work for another nonprofit. Uh, it's called Peace Restored um, as their uh, media production manager, actually. So I do very similar things. I produce their podcast. Um, behind the camera typically in this sort of setting uh and editing for them i manage their social media website work things like that so and you've recently uh, i know at least when i've spoken to you the last few months organizing some of their events and fundraisers and Mm -hmm. yeah so we're a staff of nine so my job title is not the only thing that i do yeah uh (laughs) i'm wearing all the hats whenever i need to uh so yeah fundraising and event planning uh, yeah, it's nonstop. <laughs> you seem to gravitate to these small nonprofit companies. I guess that's a, probably a good thing because that's where you can cut your teeth and like learn a lot about a variety of roles and and yep. have a bunch of tasks. So every yeah. day is different. Every day is a new challenge, new learning opportunity. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I I love that environment. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You seem to you know I saw that on the trip and I've seen that in in other scenarios where you um you are good at trying anything and and doing multiple things at at once that was that was valuable for us i know i don't know about you all but i think the average person here is production assistant and they think they are the lowest of the low totem pole and like expendable coffee yeah they're the coffee runners look 
that's an important job. Let's just it's true. be real. <laughs> um, so I don't want to devalue that at all. But to have a quality production assistant on a shoot um, – can, cannot be undervalued. Oh, right. It, it, it really can't. And, and, you know, in production assistant, as you just mentioned, yeah, it typically means the low man on the totem pole. But for Appy and Media Productions, you are very likely going to get thrown into, you know, some of the other things. I mean, I know some of the footage that you filmed will get into the final documentary. It's true. Yep. You know, and so, I mean, that's kind of a cool thing because uh, we've all been there on that production assistant side. And, like, to think, that anything I was creating was going to get put into the final piece. That was probably unheard of, especially on the big, big projects. But like, yeah. like that's, you know, so uh, that's definitely not a, uh, a bad title to have. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to ask you before we get into post-production, um, like what was your favorite moment of being in Egypt or Jordan with Appian? Uh, by far, my favorite experience from the trip was, was climbing up the traditional side of Mount Sinai spending the night up there i was freezing i was not it comfortable was <laughs> yeah. but it was it was an incredible experience seeing the sun set and then the sun rise yeah. from up there it was incredible worth every step absolutely every all step. 950 steps that's right to yeah. get out up there yeah that's right <laughs> well and if you want to if you want to see uh no one's immediate reaction we have the mount sinai episode it's up on That's youtube correct. and on our podcast channel you can go back and listen he and uh dan kingsley our executive producer talk about uh their experience on mount sinai so. that's right yeah you guys recorded that uh the morning so we had just spent the night there and before climbing down found this little spot i mean it yeah. guys it looks green screen but i promise you it was real <laughs> and you guys are it's sitting there <laughs> i was running camera and actually sleeping during the podcast. Um, <laughs> I was that exhausted, but um, yeah, go and listen to that. It's it's already up, but uh, yeah, that really was a special moment up there. Um, yeah. It was definitely I, that. I, I think the best way to describe that whole production was some of the highest highs and some of the lowest lows. Right. And, and there were several moments in there that it's like, man, I can't believe that we're experiencing this. And then there were some, several moments where I think we were like, what, what am I doing with my life? I've made a giant mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we all hit those at different times. That's right. Exactly. Uh, throughout the trip. So uh, we definitely, after the break, want to talk to you about the, the work that you're doing for us with Lessons from Land, the Exodus. Oh, yeah. The next children's series. And so we'll have all, all kinds of additional questions after that, after the break. Hey everyone, we're going to get back to the show in just a second, but before we do, I wanted to tell you about our new website. Uh, it's got all of the great Appian Media content that you're used to on it, and it's got a new shop section. It's organized with all the workbooks, DVDs, Blu-rays, and right now for our podcast listeners, we have a promo code for you. PODCAST20 is the code. If you take that, just type it in at checkout and you'll get 20% off your entire purchase on our website. So go to appianmedia.org, go to the shop section, and use promo code PODCAST20 at checkout for 20% off your order. Now, let's get back to the show. So we're back with Mr. Nolan Hoovner, the production assistant, master editor. He's got all the titles. Coffee. <laughs> he probably gatherer. has more titles than any of us. It's true. So And more hats. It's true. So you just keep stacking them up. So. <laughs> that is also true. Um, so before we leave the topic of out of Egypt, um, I know we asked you what your favorite moment was and, and Mount Sinai, like understandably, mm -hmm. maybe what was a moment when you thought like we've lost control here or what was a moment I need where to make better life choices? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what am I doing with my life? But maybe what was a challenge that, that you experienced and, and maybe how did you overcome that? Um, cause it, it wasn't all easy. It wasn't yeah. all simple and fun and epic. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Can you think of any, and I'll, and I'll say before you answer that, like that is a good point because so oftentimes people approach us and go, Oh man, it looks like you, it's so cool what I'd you do. To I'd love to come with you. you. Nolan's one of those guys who was on the outside and, and now he's on the inside. And so he can sit here and say like, it's not all easy and fun and epic. There are definitely those moments, but like, there are times where you're like, 
man, this is really stinking. You know, so when you're when you're calling your wife, you know, texting back with her, like, (laughs) what are you telling her? Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Um, Well, overall, the trip was a high. Overall, the whole experience was a high, but uh, there was definitely some low points. Uh, mostly, I think, just coming from exhaustion and just th- there was one day specifically. Um, I don't know how many times the story has been told or if it hasn't been told or not, but uh, it was our first day in Jordan uh, out in the desert out for the morning shoot. And that was that actually that part of the day went smoothly. We were out uh, driving around the trucks, getting shots of Jeremy wandering through the desert. Yeah. All good stuff, you know? Uh, and then we just kind of sat around for the day. And wasn't expected or wanted. Yeah. But yeah, just, just sat around all afternoon. I watched some Netflix, you know, but we were just yeah, kind of bored. And then we're... Uh, planning to go out for another, for an evening shoot and was, none of our equipment was there is that what it was yeah. all of our oh, equipment yeah. had equipment. disappeared yeah. the camel guy wasn't ready camel guy wasn't ready the general uh-huh. ran a drone into a yes cliff. yes drone. our drone pilot uh crashed the drone in the desert <laughs> uh he, he hit so the one thing out in the desert. We, we, are, we are all in consensus. That, yeah. that seems to be the low point of yes. the production. Yeah. So. Similar and conversation with with Ryan, right? Yep. That was kind of the day where we're all just, uh, yeah. you yep. know. And we can all, we, I think we can all sit here and think back to us sitting around that table at night after we got back just completely yep. like, yeah. drained. Mm-hmm. Going, what are we doing here? Sitting at dinner and then... Yes. Oh, like then there was a three-hour drive to our hotel drive. that night. That's we right. weren't staying in that same place, yeah. Yeah. right? To drive across the country to yeah. get to the next right. city. So, <laughs> yeah. And so. yet, that was the day, you know. So, uh, Wadi Rum, you know, the, the portion of Jordan, you know, that's Tatooine. That's where yeah. they shot a lot of Star Wars, and that was mm-hmm. the day where I, I finally took out the little Star Wars Lego figures that <laughs> my son had allowed me to bring on the yeah. trip, and I got a few. Just a hundred percent nerd. Just got some I shots. I didn't even of, see those photos until months later. Yeah, uh, like on the Facebook. I was like, yeah. oh, so like, yeah, just to yeah. to step back, and I, I I really did. I had to step back. It was in the midst of one of the most stressful moments of that day, at least for me, where I was like, "What are we do? We have, mm-hmm. we have burned the last two hours, and what are we doing?" Mm-hmm. Then I was like, "You know what? I'm gonna get my son's Lego. Nice." put these guys out take some yeah. photos yeah help me kind of recenter and we ended up with some with some great content yeah. even in that mm-hmm. evening right um we it, did yeah. interview more than just the camel we actually <laughs> did get to talk to the camel owner yeah. oh we did yeah and, that's uh, right yeah that's right the camel had lots to say so i, I you know and i will say <laughs> that's, we, a, that's a story we yes it is well it, that will have to show up sometime right. someplace on some there was reel. a connection there yeah. between jeremy for it sure was, for sure i think so they'll be best friends forever <laughs> I, think they still, I think they still keep in yeah, contact. They're pen pals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, be th- I think, you know, and Justin has said this before, and I think like moments like that is where Appian Media really shines through and people hopefully can see, oh, this is a different organization than maybe the Hollywood crews that they've seen come through or the, you know, the big news organizations or whatever and the fact that how they handle the situation. Mm-hmm. Not that we handled it perfectly because I don't think we did. Far from it. But, you know, it, it, it gives us a chance in those stressful situations and moments to show our, you know, this is, the, the, the show what we're trying to do. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. And, you know, uh, on top of that long, bad day, uh, it, in my opinion, I've seen the footage from the trip. Our, our best footage came from that day. That's true. Like, we, yeah. we got incredible drone stuff yeah before the crash yeah uh <laughs> before the crash i want to see the crash. shot during the crash like he, that, wasn't he wasn't recording oh, he wasn't recording yeah. i know if only but, we had found that so micro still, sd right, card yeah. in the sand <laughs> the maybe we could have that it was a rock it. i'm actually yeah. thinking that perhaps it was a spacecraft that actually took him out but there's oh man there's no evidence for that but yeah you're right though like to, to talk about the the lemonade that was made out of those lemons your the footage was gorgeous yeah and like i still look at that I, I, yeah i yeah. still look at that and go oh my goodness this is gonna look so good and so yeah it's it's yeah the lowest of lows and the highest of highs all 
together in one. So yeah, God can do incredible things with even the most yeah frustrating or or humble of situations. Yeah, um, absolutely. And yeah, He certainly yep. certainly did that with us. Yeah, so that's right. And you were along for the ride, man. I was. Yep. <laughs> and some of it couldn't have happened without you there. So <laughs> so let's, let's talk post production. Um, you are editing out of Egypt. No, you're not editing no, out of Egypt. Not so man. You are editing <laughs> Lessons from the Land, The Exodus. Do you want yes. to? <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think Craig's looking to give it. Yeah. So t- talk about that. How's that going? It's going well. Uh, it's a lot of footage to sift through and just mm-hmm. find good shots. You know, right now it's not looking very impressive. It's uh, just uh, it's Barry's. Uh, voiceover recorded in his stand-ups yeah uh with with some b-roll thrown in on there but uh yeah it's gonna look awesome it's in the midst of the sausage making right so no one no one really wants to see the sausage when it's halfway done no 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 one wants to see that but and that, and, and that's don't tell me how it's be. made. Just, 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 yeah, just, just serve it, it to me. me. I want to eat yeah. it. <laughs> but like, that's a hard place to be because of the fact that it's yeah. you're, it's still so rough that it becomes hard to visualize. Once stuff gets further along, then I guess it gets to be more exciting. Is that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how, how do you feel like this is going to look once it's done? Because you've been involved now with... Has he been involved with all three or just the Kings? It's not all three. Okay, it's you were with the Kings. You were the Kings. Kings had been done prior to him coming along. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So you were involved with the Kings, both in production and in post-production on that one. How do you feel like that one's going to compare, how, the Exodus is going to compare to that one? Um, You know, the Kings was a long road it was to a completion. Road. Uh, so I don't want to disparage its name so soon yeah. but the exodus is gonna blow it out of the water really <laughs> yes oh man okay it's, well i mean and, and you were talking about this before we started hit and record um helping people understand one of the new elements for this you want to talk a little bit about that and what's oh. making what's setting this apart from oh, the yeah. kings yeah so uh with the previous two seasons of lessons of the land uh, we've been scouring the internet looking for stock footage, mm-hmm. any any sort of visible, uh, any sort of visual we can use to talk about these certain things that we didn't necessarily capture uh, while in country or with Barry wherever. So, but with this season, we actually have filmed some uh, reenactments ourselves, yes. Yes. gotten the footage that we know we're going to need, and. Hired some actors, you know, we got some some reenactments of Moses and the Israelites out in the desert, and it's awesome. Like it, it's yeah, really, really good footage. I was I was very impressed. Yeah, with it. Normally, Excellent. this would have been the perfect kind of production to have Nolan along with us, but we were really yeah. trying to keep this thing down. Yeah. So really, it was just Stuart and I and Barry went out there and and met some some colleagues out there in Utah. Um, so when I handed it off to Nolan to say, Hey, the, these are going to be pieces for the Exodus. Um, he was very excited about that. It was, like, yeah. yes, I was, it's really good stuff. Yeah. There's also, we've, we've gotten some illustrations done as well. That'll be animated that we can use. And it's those elements together will be as well as the footage we shot in country is yeah. Awesome. Unbeatable. Oh man. That's great to hear. <laughs> it's a high bar to, to, achieve again honestly yeah yeah and like i love to hear that and like you know i don't get offended at all about like hey this next one's gonna be better than the last one because i think that's 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 the goal that's the goal every time and um i'm really hopeful you know we don't know yet but i'm really hopeful we can release both of these together because i think that's going to be powerful in itself to to have out of egypt and and all of all of it available for an older audience and then be able to hand the children this really powerful series um, and, and say, Hey, here you go. Here yep. they are together instead of it being kind of drawn out over a few years. And yeah. yeah. And so really yeah. great content for the whole family at yeah, the exactly. same time. Yeah. So we're yeah. thankful that you're working on that for us. Yeah. And what's probably going to have to happen is we're going to lo- lock both of us into our own little editing corners. Hey, and look, <laughs> this room, I think this room could be a great prison cell. And then next door, you guys can yeah. knock on the wall, bang on the wall and, yeah. and mm-hmm. talk to each There's other that way. There's a little bit of sunlight. Yeah, there's a little, you know, bit of a little bit of sunlight. So, um, 
but we'll, we'll, I could maybe, see my family I, after four months. We'll black out the windows. Oh, so I appreciate that. So I prefer to edit in the dark. So it's exactly. That's, see, that's, that's too totally much awesome, sunlight actually. for yeah, me. Right, yeah. Actually, the torture <laughs> of this room would be the fact that the lights would never go off. That's right. <laughs> like that it's is. motion sensor, and I think that you would always be in light, and that would be sad. Yeah. So. But it's an exciting time for us because, um, especially in the midst of a one of our larger projects being in post production, usually that meant that post production on anything else stopped. That's right. Because. I was busy doing that, but now to be able to turn turn a, a complete other project to you and have that being moving forward um, is is quite the blessing and a new yes. a new approach for us. Yes. So yes, uh, we're thankful for that. Yeah, for sure. So as we kind of round out the podcast, kind of talk about you know you've you've been with Appian, um, you've kind of seen it from the outside because when you first met Craig, you knew he was involved with this, and now you're. You're way in it, man. You're in it deep now. Like, <laughs> what what attracted you to Appian Media and the work that's being done with Appian? So, when it comes to the content that Appian creates, and I mean, it, it's just a incredible resource that does not exist anywhere else. Like the the quality and the the well researched, well informed videos that Appian creates these series you've been putting out for the past few years are just incredible. You know, it's not information that you can get somewhere else. They don't have, there's not, you can't search on YouTube for, you know, a documentary on the Exodus, plug the new one, uh, yeah. and look for this information. A couple of things will come up, but it's typically, you know, some kid who bought a USB microphone and sounds terrible, looks terrible. It's not fun to watch three minutes long. You know, this 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 content doesn't exist somewhere else, especially not for free. Right. So just the the availability of it and the the usefulness of the content is invaluable. And, wow! And he read the script from all the way over here. I mean, he was <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah, there it is, there, right yeah. there. Um, Can you no, scroll the teleprompter? Yeah, a little we uh, yeah. <laughs> we appreciate that. I mean. And, and Stu and I realized from the beginning, uh, other people have done this. We're certainly not the first people to make documentaries in Israel or mm -hmm. Egypt. Um, in fact, there are, there are some even very recent, you know, documentaries right. about Exodus mm -hmm. that have come out recently. Um, but our, our approach is, I think when people see it, going to be f fundamentally different yes. than the approach of, of previous documentaries. Very unique. Um, and uh, yeah, man, we're, we're excited we're excited to have you helping us with that. Um, it's a it's a vision and a mission that we firmly believe in. So. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, thank you, Mr. Nolan, for coming on board and uh, for your continued help. Um, and as we continue through the post production process, um, maybe after we've locked you in an, in an editing bay for two months, we'll let you come out, <laughs> we'll see the light in, of day, yeah, and, and, and grab another another interview. podcast. Yeah. That'd be entertaining, right there. That's a man right. locked in a room for three months, and then we pull him out and say, "Hey, how are you feeling?" We'll only let you out if you do another podcast. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, maybe we'll let you eat too. Um, but thanks for coming aboard. Yeah, and, thank uh, you, and for all your work. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Throughout this season of Inroads, we'll continue highlighting others that are using digital media to spread the good news of the gospel. And we'll also pull the curtain back on Out of Egypt and talk with various members of our own team as we develop, fundraise, and produce our most ambitious, challenging, and rewarding project that we've ever done. That's next time on Inroads. Inroads is a production of Appian Media. We're a nonprofit video production company that is 100% crowdfunded. If you're interested in learning more about how you can support Appian Media so we can continue to create more great free content, visit us at appianmedia.org.